This is the beginning of my living in the moment life. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and today I'm here with, Je with uh, Ginger. <laughs> I've just recently started calling her Jenny. I don't know why it just kind of flows off my tongue easy. She's doing really good. She's not completely housebroken, but she's starting to catch on to the idea. I think me giving her the treats is really a big encouragement. And she's up a pound and a half from what she was whenever I first got her. Uh, she eats, but she's a very delicate eater. She chews. She'll take it out of your hand very gently. And she chews very softly. I don't know if there's problems with her teeth. I'll take her to the vet here probably within the next month or so and have her checked and find out. But she's here today. She's going to help me with the video. And the video that I'm going to do today, uh, it was an inspiration from another YouTuber whose channel I watch. Her uh, channel name is called Life with Patty. And she did this on her channel and she encouraged anybody else that wanted to do it. So that's what me and Jenny, Ginger, me and Jenny are going to do is um, tell you, it's called 10 things that I'm thankful slash grateful for. She's one of them. And this is the other one. This is Jade. Jade's in here. Hi, Jade. Jade always loves to get in the videos. I try to take turns between her and Ginger. And she's like, Mama, I want to get up there too. You could get up here, Jade, but I don't really think there's room in Mama's lap. And she's wanting to get up here too. Let me scoot over a little bit. Come on. You want to jump up? Let's see if she'll jump up here. Come on. Uh-oh, almost. Come on. <laughs> she just can't already make her little fat butt. Come on. She's actually overweight. Now I got them both up here. Can you see Jade's head right there? <laughs> so they're both in the video. Okay. Settle down now. All right. I have a list here of the things that I want to talk to you about. And the number one thing on my list is that Jesus is a part of my life now. It wasn't always that way. Um, I've been a Christian for a little while now, but back in my wild and woolly days, I was not such a nice person. I mean, I wasn't really murdering people or uh, I didn't use a lot of profanity or anything like that. I did smoke. Uh, there was a time in my life when I used a few drugs, but... Um, I, I've turned that around. I've made a complete 180. Um, I no longer smoke. And the only drugs that I use are the ones the doctor prescribes. And you know, you get a lot of those prescription drugs when you're an older person like I am. So that is number one on my list, that I have Jesus in my heart. Number two, and this kind of goes along with the first one, that I wake up every day to start out fresh and new. You know, um, if you make a mistake today, when you go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow, that's a brand new start. You've got a whole new day, 24 hours to start over, to try to do it right, to make amends and not make any mistakes. And I'm grateful that every day that I wake up is a brand new start. I'm basically, I'm grateful that I even wake up, you know, cause I keep thinking one of these times I'm gonna wake up dead. <laughs> But I'm thankful that I am alive, and I'm thankful that I'm able to do a YouTube video for you guys to come and watch. And number three, that I had two sets of grandparents, and I got to get to know and spend time with both of them. You know, I was thinking just tonight, um, neither one of my grandparents drove. I've seen other people in videos where the grandparents, the grandmothers, is driving to see their grandchildren. That never happened in our family. We always went to visit the grandparents. They never came to see us. Uh, my grandmother said that she could drive. She just didn't drive. My grandpa always drove her around. And then my other set of grandparents on my father's side, uh, she never drove either. He drove her around. But I'm thankful that I had grandparents and I was a part of their life. A lot of people don't have that blessing. Um, they're all gone now, and I cherish all the time that I got to spend with them. My one grandma was into crafting, and we did a lot of crafts together. And I'm so thankful that I got to have that time to spend with her. And number four is that I have a nice home to live in, 
and so far I am able to pay for it. Now the house that I live in is a rental and it's not fancy by any means. I've been told that the place is 45 years old and I had a subscriber on my channel ask me to, to do a house tour, which I am in the works of doing that. But what I've been doing is going through each room and clearing and cluttering and downsizing. I've got three areas left to get finished before I can do the video and then I'll put it all together. I've done did all the rooms that I've been through. I just need to put it all together. So I will be doing a home, home house tour for you guys. But I'm thankful that I have this house. Um, the lady that I rent from is a friend of mine. She used to be the manager in the grocery store when I worked there and that's how she contacted me to uh, come and live in this house. It's plenty big enough for me and the girls. We have we have two bedrooms, but we also have a full basement. It's lots of storage. I have a garage. Uh, there's a little shed out back to put things in. And I'm just blessed that I have a roof over my head. I have an air conditioning unit. I have a heating unit to keep me warm in the winter and air conditioner to keep me nice and cool in the summer. And the landlord is really, really good about taking care of any problem. I can contact her. And she immediately, either she comes and fixes it or they send somebody over. They're really good about that. So I'm thankful for my home. And number five, that I had time to spend with my son growing up before he was killed. For those of you who've been on my channel for a while, you know that I only had one child, a boy. His name was Alex. And he was uh, 36 years old when he was killed. But I'm so thankful that I did get to have him for those 36 years in my life. Now, I've heard it said that your children are not owned by you. They're just on loan to you from the Lord and that one day he's going to want them back. And uh, the time came that the Lord wanted to take my son Alex back. But I'm so thankful that I got to have him and grow up with him. I spent time with him, doing things, playing games with him, uh, laughing and just having a really good time being his mom, and uh, I, I actually, um, I had him late in life. A lot of people have their kids when they're uh, 16, 17, 18 years old, you know, in their teens. I was close to 30 when I had Alex, and up until I had him, I honestly don't think that I even wanted to have kids. Uh, I think that's why I waited so long. I grew up in a large family of nine, and I was constantly babysitting my younger brothers and sisters, had kids around me, bugging me, irritating me all the time. So I basically grew up thinking that I probably wasn't going to have any kids. So having him late in life was a blessing to me. And number six, that my parents were never divorced and I never had to live in a broken home. Now, my mom and dad, uh, they had their shared troubles, but they raised all nine of us kids together. My father worked for a long period of his life until he had a stroke uh, and became disabled. And then my mom did work for a little while. But my mom was always a stay-at-home mom. Cooked the meals, uh, did the laundry and the cleaning and stuff like that. And uh, my parents were together for, you know, for all my life. And I never had to have step-parents or step-brothers and sisters. I shared the bond with my uh, bio parents. And I'm so thankful for that. Now, my father did pass away at 48, and my mother, as you guys that have been on my channel for a while know, she just recently passed away last year. But I'm so thankful that I got to live in a home with my bio parents and not come from a broken home. And number seven, I'm thankful that I live in the U.S. where I'm here free to go worship at a church of my choice. That's something that a lot of people don't get to, to do. And the way the world's going, it may get back to that. Um, there used to be a time when people were killed for being Christians. Uh, they wanted to read their Bible, they had to hide and uh, you know, try to sneak off somewhere. But now we're free to openly go to churches. There's churches out there for you to attend, and you're free in the U.S. to do that. And I'm so thankful that I live in the United States where I am free to worship as I please. And number eight. I'm thankful that I was blessed with good health most of my life until I've gotten older. Now, this is something I've thought about a lot. Up until the time that uh, I became in my 60s, I never had any problems with health. Um, 
I wasn't taking any kind of prescription drugs. I took a Tylenol, you know, over-the-counter aspirin or something like that every once in a while for a headache. But most of my life, I've never had any health problems. Uh, never had any broken bones, never had really any major surgeries up until a certain time in my life. Uh, I was blessed with all my organs. You know, I never had to have my um, appendix out or my tonsils out or anything like that for a long, long time. I think my first surgery I had was uh, when I was in my 50s, I believe, was the very first surgery that I'd ever had. So I've been blessed with really good health. And I'm basically still in pretty good health right now. I do have to take medicine, and I have days when I feel lousy. And I know that that's my fault because sometimes, honestly, I forget to take my medicine. I neglect to take it. So I'm just thankful that I had the good health for as long as I did. And I still basically am good health today. And number nine, I'm thankful for all the people on YouTube who are watching and supporting my channel. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't get to say. I have some very wonderful subscribers on my channel. And I am so blessed that we have the ability and the opportunity to have a YouTube channel where people can join together and share their lives with you, um, show you the things that make them happy, talk to you about their life and their families and stuff. That is a part of my world that I never would have imagined growing up. Because, you know, up until recently, a long time ago, we didn't have computers and internet like we do now. And we certainly didn't have the cell phones that a lot of people use to make their channels. And I'm just so blessed that I have all of you guys out there coming to my channel and watching it. I'm so very thankful for you. And uh, I hope that you will continue to enjoy my videos. I, I'm trying to branch out and make better and more interesting content for you guys so that you'll want to keep coming back and that hopefully new people will come and join my fan and enjoy watching my videos too. So I'm very blessed to have my YouTube channel and my YouTube subscribers. And my number 10 um, thing that I'm thankful for, I come from a large family as I always had playmates at home to have fun with. Now, I did mention earlier that I always had a lot of kids around me that were bothering me and a headache and babysitting. But I also had a built-in companionship. It was like a play date every day. Uh, we used to play Monopoly together and jump rope and hopscotch, jacks. Uh, we had all kinds of board games that we played inside, Old Maid and uh, my older sisters, my older sister and the one sister under me, we used to go in the kitchen and, and make fudge and cookies and bake and spend time together. A lot of people don't have that. My son didn't have that for a long time. He was an only child. Uh, his only playmates that he had were probably the people that he was in school with. You know, and when he went to his grandma's, he had his cousins. But I had uh, family members around me. And not only just my immediate family, I had cousins that were always around us and doing things together. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. But anyway, I'm thankful that I did have a large family and had brothers and sisters to, to bond with and join with. So Ginger and I want to thank you guys for coming to our channel. Jade is still here with me. She's right down here laying on me relaxing. Thank you guys so much for visiting this channel. And I'm thankful for you every day. I'm thankful for all the things in my life that I have because I have been blessed in many, many ways. A lot of times... I don't even realize how many blessings I had until I stop and actually think about them and count them. I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. So thank you guys again for coming to visit. And y'all just come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.